All right, I'm going to take you back to seventh grade or something here in this video. What I want to do is I want to uh, provide a refresher, a simple refresher of what regression analysis is and uh, how we might use it. We're going to have to use uh, regression analysis here and uh, here in the future. So I think it's important for us to understand what it is. Now, in its in its simplest form, regression analysis is just estimating uh, estimating the the model y equals mx plus b. Some of you remember that from elementary school. You'll remember that y is your dependent variable. Here's the y-axis. x is your independent variable. This is the x-axis. b is going to be your intercept, your y-intercept, and m is going to be your slope. Okay. So when we run regression analysis, it's actually pretty simple. What we do is we go and we grab historical data, all right, historical data that relates to both y and x, whatever y and x are, uh, and then what we do is we plot that data. So here I'm just going to grab a pencil, and I'm just going to show you uh, maybe we have an observation of y and x equals here. Uh, let, 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 me, let me maybe give you... Uh, let me, let me give you uh, uh, an idea about how this data might look. Uh, y here might be your starting wage. Okay, this might be your starting wage once you graduate from college, and X might be your your GPA. Okay, so one individual, sorry about that. So one individual might have a GPA that's fairly low. Again, if it's closer here to the origin, then it's then it's a low GPA. If it's closer here to the origin on the y-axis, then it's low earnings, and subsequently earnings get higher as we go move up along the y-axis, and GPAs get higher as we move out along the x-axis. So the first individual that we might uh, find has a has a GPA of here, and uh, and earnings of here, uh, wages of here on their their job offer. Here's another individual over here. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm just plotting individuals. And we might have 30 individuals, and we're just grabbing all of their data. right? There's the smart person in the class up here. Of course, they always get the highest job, paying job. We know who you are. We're, we don't really like you. All right? And so we have a couple, of, uh, a couple of more observations. Does that make sense? And so we plot these observations in the yx domain. All right? And then the objective when we run a regression analysis is to fit a line that minimizes the squared residuals from each of these points. For instance, here, let me fit a line there. I'm, I'm obviously just guessing here. I'm going to fit a line that minimizes the squared difference from each of these data points to that line. Does that make sense? So when we run, run a regression, we're just fitting a line through data, and that, that line, notice here that that line is going to give us an intercept. Do you see where that, that intercept came from? So that intercept is going to be B, okay? And the slope of that line is just going to be measured as the rise over run. So I'm just going to measure that slope. So that slope is going to be M. Now this is super important because what we've done here is we fit a line that minimizes the square difference between these data points and this line. B is the y-intercept and M is the slope. And what that could tell us is, is that given the data, given the data, as, uh, as GPA increases one point, there's going to be an M increase in uh, wages. Does that make sense? And notice this intercept is important too. Uh, people that don't have any GPA or that have a zero GPA, that's not people that flunked out. That's probably people that don't, that don't uh, go to college or something like that. They have wages, right? But we notice that those wages are much shorter than the wages of somebody that does go to college that has, has higher, uh, a higher GPA. 
So hopefully this, this gives you a refresher on regression analysis. Uh, we're going to use regression analysis heavily here in the next little bit. I, I think it'll be useful for you to understand exactly what we're, we're going to do here. So what I've done is I've grabbed some data. Here is Y and here is X. All right. Uh, again, Y might be wages, X might be uh, GPA. Uh, here, I literally just randomly selected a bunch of numbers. I got 100 observations here. Okay. So maybe, maybe what we could do is, uh, uh, this might be fun, we could see if if uh, what if what if Y was home runs for a, for a major league baseball player, and X was strikeouts? And the idea here is we want to see if there's a positive relationship between strikeouts and home runs. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to run a regression in Excel. You're going to click on this data tab. All right, and under the data tab in Excel, there's going to be this data analysis tab. Now, there some of you might not have this uh, on your Excel. You haven't uh, added this in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File. So if you don't see that data analysis tab, go to File, Options, Add-ins. Okay, and once you get this add-in, hold on, come on. Go to add-ins here, and it says, it says Excel add-ins. I'm going to click go. I'm going to click go, and I'm going to highlight the analysis tool pack. That analysis tool pack will be important for you to add in order to run regression. So you're just going to click OK, and after you click OK, that data analysis tab should show up. Okay. So to run the regression, I'm going to click the data analysis tab, and there's a whole bunch of different statistical uh, things that you can do to the data. I'm going to scroll down here to regression and hit OK. And this is really straightforward. So it says input my Y range, input my dependent variable. Again, my the objective of my uh, the objective of my analysis here is to see whether or not home runs people that strike out are more likely to hit home runs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my dependent variable. And I'm going to enter my independent variable, my x range. Okay. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to highlight this number. Okay. And at, so after I highlight these two columns, my dependent variable, my independent variable, I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to produce a coefficient. All right. So this is my B inter this is B effectively, and this is M in my Y equals MX plus B. Does that make sense? And you you notice something here. First of all, uh, the coefficient is negative. It's not positive. Again, this was not real home run and strikeout data, but this this coefficient is effectively zero. It's really really small, suggesting that there's no relation between my Y variable and my X variable. Now it's important to note that I randomly selected these variables. If, if there was correlation, if there was significant correlation between my Y and my X variable, I would be a little bit worried because I literally randomly selected these numbers. Uh, and, and so I expected that there would be no correlation. But you can use regression in a number of ways. I think uh, for those of you who aren't liking finance right now, uh, many people won't blame you, but uh, you, you can think of those who like marketing. You can talk about maybe this is a, a marketing or advertising expenditures, right? And your Y variable might be sales. So if we increase more on advertising, then we should have more sales. Does that make sense? So you can run a variety of different regressions to look at, vari look at the predictability of certain variables on other variables. Does that make sense? Uh, uh, human resources. You might you might run a regression where you look at uh, wages on uh, experience. How many years the individual has been at the firm, uh, and, and you would expect that experience would increase wages. And the regression analysis can give you a measure of how much of an increase in wages will occur for every year increase in experience. 
So these are simple examples of how to use regression analysis. In some of the videos that follow, we're going to use regression analysis uh, in various contexts. But I thought that this video was helpful to understand uh, that the stuff that you learned in seventh grade actually has some application.